Well, yeah, this is Hank Nur after all. Sure. Hank Nur from IUP Lively Arts joins us, and he's already already done a a public service for us here by sitting in a different chair, thereby ensuring that he isn't going to steal our sponsor sheet. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) I wouldn't want to do that. (laughs) So the uh, ovations season and the entire Lively Arts season for 2016-17 concluded. Yes, it's just a week or so ago. Yes, it's... Yeah, somebody asked me how I feel when the season ends, and mm-hmm. you know it's a little bit sad. But my my attention is so much focused on the next season yeah. that that's very exciting too. It's it's a it'll be a, a new year when well, we reopen. Take a couple of moments and look back on this past yeah. season and uh, some of what you considered to be the highlights and uh, things that uh, you thought uh, really went well and audience responded to. Well, um, I mean, I think it goes back to the very first show that we did. It was Newfonia Must Fall, which was in late September. Yeah. And we did not uh, have a large audience. I don't think that they understood, uh, which subsequently, where they where else they toured, everybody was uh, incredulous about it. They just loved it. But mm-hmm. their audiences were similar. They didn't really understand it. And it's difficult to get your hands around. But it was probably artistically and uniquely one of the best shows we have ever done. And and that points out the fact that there there are still a lot of people out there that uh, don't trust what other people say to them or what I say. Uh, just come to the shows because whoever missed that one missed really an incredible show. And yeah. we'll have a couple things next year that people may not be as familiar with. And I hope that they step out of their box a little bit and mm-hmm. come see you, see so them. The very first show was a good kickoff yeah. for you. Yeah, and then shortly after that was Cinderella. It was a sellout, and that was a lot of fun and, and, a, and a great show. Uh, they're still on tour. Uh, we were one of the first. Oh, yeah? uh, we were, I think, actually the second one on the road, and uh, they'll be going through about the first week of June, uh, same production all over the country. Mm-hmm. Um, and then... Uh, uh, you know, the last one we did, HMS Pinafore, uh, another great show, uh, great music, great sound. Uh, we had an unfortunate situation uh, this year, which was something unique for us, which was the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra. When they went out on strike, they yeah. canceled. So uh, that was unfortunate. But I'm happy to say that they're going to be back next year, there you go. Uh, next season, in late October. And Manfred Hanek will be conducting uh, again. And and really, he delivers an incredible program. One of the pieces on it will be uh, a war horse, uh, uh, Beethoven's Eroica Symphony, uh, mm-hmm. number three. So that that should be of great interest. And um, also, Taj Express this last year was a real big hit. People just loved it. Uh, that was the uh, Bollywood dancing from Mumbai, yeah. India. Uh, so it was a very strong season. Yeah. We ended well. We ended uh, slightly above projection, which is always my goal. And uh, so we're going to be back again in late September. Yeah, go ahead, Hank. Top all that. Will Top you? all that. <laughs> Top all that. Right, exactly. Well, one thing I should tell you is that not every production we're doing next year is fully, uh, information is not fully released yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I can't say too much about it. Um, but. I have confidence that we will get all full permissions from all the acts uh, by May 27th, which is the date we plan to announce the season. Mm-hmm. That is, uh, we'll announce it during Westylvania in the morning around 10, 1030. Uh, I'll get up on stage and, and announce the whole season. Uh, so that, and we'll have a piece that people can uh, take with them, uh, kind of fly or folder oh, okay. brochure type thing. Mm-hmm. Um but uh, I mentioned the P- uh, Pittsburgh Symphony. Uh, also, uh, we have a group called Hot Sardines coming in in December. Well, then there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a fun, funky uh, swing band type of uh, ensemble. I think there's seven or eight members. Uh, it's led by a female chanteuse. Uh, she's, she has a wonderful, silky silky oh, yeah. slash brassy kind of voice a great charisma and then uh there's also even a tap dancer in the group that'll tap out yeah. some tunes well can we call uh, that uh, that lead can we call her slinky because i haven't used the word slinky yet uh sure okay i okay <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh and uh then we'll just slink right over to another one here is uh uh one of the shows that I've been wanting to bring here for a long time, and I was finally able to, to do it, 
Um, cause we were routed, they routed us in such a way that it brings down the price a little bit because they okay. are one of the more expensive ensembles. And that's Le Ballet Trocaderos de Monte Carlo. Now, that's a group that is not based in France or Montreal. It's based in New York. Uh, oh, yeah. And, and, and they got their name based on some club or something. I, I have to research that a little bit more. But what it is, is all male dancers dancing on point in uh, ballet. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's incredibly funny. And uh, so oh, yeah. all these men in point shoes, uh-huh. dancing ballet, and uh, and they've been around, I don't know, 20 years now, something like that. Yeah. And they, they really have gotten a reputation all around the, uh, the world. Um, and they are, um, it's a family-friendly show. And you can think of it as a mix of Milton Berle and drag, for those that remember Milton Berle during uh, his shtick. Sure. Um, and then uh, kind of a RuPaul-esque uh, dry comedy. And uh, there was somebody else I was thinking of in between there. Um, uh, oh, Dame Edna. Uh, <laughs> not as crude as Dame Edna, but it's, it's, it's just this, this show that's just so funny and... Uh, you know, in drag, but dancing legitimate ballet point moves. Mm-hmm. It's, it's really quite something to see. Yeah, guys uh, aren't generally trained for that. No, no, they're not, and they're not <laughs> built for that either. Uh-huh. I mean, women, you can you can say maybe not, but it's it's the weight that they have to put on their toes mm-hmm. uh, that men usually can't do point. Um, and then there's. Um, uh, let's see. We have a classical, a couple of classical artists, Jacob Shaw, who is from uh, Great Britain, has lived in France for quite a while, and now lives in Denmark. So he's a worldly European uh, type uh, oh, cellist, yeah. and uh, he does some newer things and some classical things. And he's a really energetic, charismatic uh, performer. I saw him a couple of years ago, and also in classical. We are Stein, all Steinway School, so we try to bring in as many Steinway artists as we have, and we have a a woman from Cherbourg, uh, France, uh, speaking of French, uh, two from France coming. Um, and she, her name is Lisa Della. Uh, why do something. I? Yeah. Lisa Della something. De, yeah, Della Sal. I always want to say Della Plame or something. I don't know. I don't know why I want to say a P uh, name, but it's, it's Lisa Della Sal. And that's in March. And then we do have two musicals. Uh, I'm not quite ready to release those names mm-hmm. yet. But I can tell you that they've never been to IUP before. Oh. Uh, this is the first time they're available to us, uh, both of them. I had to fight really hard, lobby very hard to make sure that we could get these two shows. And they have confirmed, but not as far as announcement yet. Mm-hmm. And uh, we did post a hint on our Facebook page and our Twitter page that people go on there and sign up. And whoever gets it right first, I'll get two tickets. The hint doesn't them. happen to be a ten dollar bill, I bet you. Uh, no, <laughs> no, no. That was Forty Second Street when we're they were in the money. Uh, okay. Um, so we'll have and and instead of having twelve, we're going to have a baker's dozen next year. So we're going to have thirteen events. Oh yeah. Um, I mean that's not what we're planning to do on a regular basis. It's just that the makes money, up for losing Pittsburgh Symphony last year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, and and because it just fell right in the season, mm-hmm. uh, we have a dance company that's based in Chinese culture, uh, they're out of Philadelphia, and they're going to be doing something. Oh, I should have mentioned Hot Sardines is going to also perform a few numbers with the IUP Jazz Ensemble, and oh, it's going fun. to be part of the It's a Wonderful Life Festival weekend, oh, yeah. the first weekend in December, because they're going to do some holiday tunes as well. There you go. So uh, with this other dance company, uh, Kunyang Lin Dancers, um, they're coming in in uh, middle of October, the problem is that they're five days after the first musical. So it's going to be, that's going to be kind of tight. But otherwise, everything laid out very nicely in the calendar. Uh, five events in the fall and six in the spring. And that's, and that's without Hank really <laughs> telling us everything that he knows. Yeah, I, I almost let it slip. <laughs> the, tw- the 27th is when it's going to be fully announced uh, during the Pennsylvania, the, 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 the Westylvania Jazz, Jazz and, and Blues, Blues Festival. Festival. Right. Yeah, sometime in the morning presented by Delaney Chevrolet. Well, that's yeah. wonderful. You've yeah. got yourself 
uh, a pretty busy time ahead of you. Now, people are going to hear about subscriptions and, and things of that nature. They're going to get mailers, yes, I assume? Yes, exactly. Um, we will be putting out a mailer by mid-June to everybody that's donated. Uh, it'll be a kind of quick and dirty brochure. People that have donated before have seen it. They get first shot at mm-hmm. the subscriptions. <clears throat> and then uh, the brochure will go out around the first week of July. Uh, it's really important to let us know if you want to be on the mailing list if you're not already because those are the people, obviously, that will get the brochure. Yeah. So you can find us on Facebook or on our website, iup.edu slash livelyarts. Uh, we're frantically trying to get the website updated. It still looks like we're, we're in season. Uh, but I've been working on that now and then try to get everything up and ready. Uh, yeah. by that time and then uh yeah single tickets and a, a change this year that we'll describe a little bit more uh tickets will no longer be available at the headley union building uh we're taking over that ticketing system uh so we'll be managing that and we'll be managing in the performing arts center so we will be able to take up walk up if they want but the best way is going to be online through your phone sure. or even calling us uh but uh and what we're going to try to do is make all once subscription sales are over, to make all tickets available for the entire season. So people can get them oh, yeah. anytime. But that makes it even more critical for people to get subscriptions so they get those best seats yeah, because before the general public. Quickly. Yeah, they yeah. will. Especially the, the musicals. And, and I think ba- Ballet Trucaderos will be a, a hot sale. That's fantastic. Well, Hank, <laughs> thanks so much for telling us about all sure. of that. And Thank we'll you. look forward to learning more. Yeah. It's AM 1160, WCCS 101.1 FM. Yeah. <laughs>